a terrorist organization does not simply target your population, but in essence targets its own and sees its own casualties as a strategic victory of theirs, what do you do? How do you fight? Some would claim, under these criteria, you simply cannot fight. However, and, and by the way, this is a deep criticism of Israel, that because we cannot fight Hamas in accordance with the standards of morality of war, then by definition Israel's actions are morally reprehensible. I understand that position, but I disagree with it completely. For under that argument, evil is allowed to prevail. And as long as our enemy descends to further levels of moral depravity, they reach a level of immunity, which I believe to be unacceptable. If my enemy is sufficiently immoral, then I become handcuffed and incapable of defending myself. If a war is just, then it must be fought. However, one of the tragedies that we face today is that we can't fight it justly. Now some would say, if that's what they do, then all rules are off. Do whatever you need to do. It's fine. If they are firing within this condition, then you must do what you must do. And it is not immoral. I believe that position is a mistake. For it removes the moral obligation and the moral aspiration and the moral standards which we must live by. Let me be very clear. I don't believe that civilian casualties are acceptable. I believe that a war which, which um, causes extensive civilian casualties is being fought unjustly. But I believe it is a war that we must fight. We cannot allow somebody to terrorize us and to hide behind their immorality. That is a morally corrupt world. While I believe that war must be fought, it is critical that we recognize and that we struggle with the moral challenges and the moral failings that are inevitable. Does that weaken our soldiers? Does it mean, oh, what are we doing to our soldiers? Are we giving them too much guilt? I know there's a lot of jokes about Jewish guilt, but I want to tell you, I think one of the reasons why the Jewish people are a light unto the nations is because we weren't uncomfortable with the category of guilt. What's wrong with guilt? Being very serious, what's wrong with it? 